time, I have seen a lot of people, they begin to ask many questions. God refused to say anything in that matter. How would Job believe that righteousness, that his righteousness will attract evil to him? Sometimes we say, oh, righteousness delivers. Righteousness will make a man not to suffer. But I see Joseph that righteousness made him to suffer. But all the things that was happening in the life of Joseph was for the will of God for his life to come to pass. And everything that is happening in your life today will make the will of God to come to pass in Jesus' name. Yeah. The will of God will come to pass in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. No matter what you are going through, the will of God will come to pass. Amen. No matter how many times you face challenges, the will of God will come to pass. Amen. No matter when you are crying, the will of God will come to pass. Amen. Joseph was in a prison yard so that the God Almighty will send someone that no king to meet him in a prison. I believe that Joseph asked God for deliverance. In those years, he was in prison yard. And the Bible make us understand God did not do anything. God did not answer him that time. And Joseph was in that prison. He was not enjoying prison yard. But God retained him in the prison. God retained Joseph inside prison. Because if God had delivered Joseph, Joseph would not know the end of the city. God retained him in that problem until the time the right man will come. And this, this message today will answer all your questions. This message today will answer many questions you have been asking about yourself, about God, about what you are going through. Even me, myself, I don't know why. But one thing I know is that God is faithful. God is faithful. Somebody, Jesus never fell. Jesus never fell. The man of this world, man, let me down. But Jesus never, hallelujah. Jesus never fell. Jesus never fell. The man of this world, man, let me down. But Jesus never fell. I want you to rise on your feet. I don't want to waste our time. I want you to rise on your feet. I want us to pray three prayer points. Can you lift up your voice and call upon the name of the Lord and say, Father, give me grace to endure. Father, give me grace to endure to the end. Even when I don't know the reason. Even when I don't know why. Even as a man of God I am, I have come and encounter many situations. Some thoughts are telling me which. The other one are telling me God is faithful. The other one are telling me, can you still believe God which? Even me, I have come and counter problem like that many a times. But I find that God, that God is faithful. Give me grace to endure to the end. Even when I don't understand why things are happening the way it is. Give me grace to endure to the end. Even when I have no answer to my problems, give me grace to endure to the end. In Jesus' name we pray.